Hello and welcome to Bread of Life, a daily devotional program which each week features a different area pastor. Our speaker for this week is Pastor Stephen Hodge of Hartford. God bless you and thanks for tuning in again to the Bread of Life. This is Stephen Hodge of Grace Worship Center Church of Hartford, Connecticut. Thanks for joining me all week long, and this is our final installment on uh, the lesson that we've been sharing all week long on building your faith for giant size ministry. I'd like to share with you from the book of St. Luke, chapter number 8, situation where Jesus sends, uh, tells the disciples we're going to the other side, and they get on the boat, and they head over to the other side. Now it came to pass, Luke chapter 8, verse 22, Now it came to pass on a certain day that he went into a ship with his disciples, and he said unto them, Let us go over unto the other side of the lake. And they launched forth. But as they sailed, he fell asleep. And there came down a storm of wind on the lake. And they were filled with water and were in jeopardy. And they came to him and awoke him, saying, Master, Master, we perish. Then he arose and rebuked the wind and the raging of the water. And they ceased, and there was a calm. Verse 25 And he said unto them, Where is your faith? And they, being afraid, wondered, saying one to another, What manner of man is this? For he commandeth even the winds and water, and they obey him. I want to share this with you in our closing thought for uh, for the week, that there can be times when our faith is inactive. In other words, God has given to all of us the measure of faith. You and I have faith enough based upon how God designed us. We have faith enough for the expanse of our life. In other words, whatever it is, whatever our journey will be, wherever it will take, whatever our purpose encompasses, God put within each of us the faith that we need to accomplish everything that we have been designed to accomplish. But sometimes, here's what happens, sometimes our faith is inactive. When we face mountains, giant-sized things, or big things in ministry, or facing circumstances that are huge, your faith cannot be inactive. Your faith must be on the front line. Your faith must be ready. One of the things that my spiritual father would say to me periodically when I would ask him certain things uh, that are major things of decision-making that I have to make as a pastor, he would say to me that those challenges that you're facing, he said, this is what your faith is for. And when he would say it, it would always resonate in me. And what it did was it took away my excuses. It took away my sense of, of vulnerability It took away all of the fear from me because then I realized that God has given me exactly what I need, ample enough faith to handle what is in front of me. And here's what happens as Jesus was dealing uh, with the disciples as they were going to the other side. Jesus has to ask them a question. Jesus asked this question in Luke 8, 25, and he makes it clear that you can have faith, this gift that he gives, you can have faith and never use it. Jesus asked, where is your faith? <laughs> to, the, the, to the disciples, after a storm blew up as they were crossing uh, the lake, Jesus had been asleep in the back of the boat, and the disciples panicked. But Jesus awakens, calms the storm, and then asks, where is your faith? In other words, he's asking them, why aren't you exercising the faith that I have given to you? Because it is the faith, folks, that's going to cause these mountains to come down. When Jesus got up and he spoke to the winds, spoke to the sea, it calmed down because he used his faith. When you operate in faith, those mountains those storms, those Goliaths, those Jericho walls will come down. What you've got to do is follow through. Put the word in action. That is acts of obedience. Follow through. When God tells you to do something, obediently do it because it is that that your muscles are being activated. And the more you follow God's instructions, the more you obey God, the greater and stronger your faith will be. And when you reach your mountains, your Goliaths, those walls, they will come down. 
Thanks for tuning in all week long. It's been a pleasure sharing with you. God bless you, and may grace be unto you. You've been listening to Pastor Stephen Hodge of Hartford, and this has been Bread of Life, a program to encourage you from God's Word.